In this video, I'll be talking about Agent Builder in Microsoft 365 Copilot ecosystem. Now, here, if you navigate to this URL, m365.cloud.microsoft, you will be able to view the Agent Builder within a Microsoft 365 interface. Now, what is an Agent Builder? Agent Builder is a lightweight Copilot Studio experience for a user who wants to build an agent within Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Now, Copilot Studio is an authoring interface to build complex agent. Now, Copilot Studio experience is basically for kind of a pro code or a low code kind of an interface. Uh, you can write uh, various codes within while building an agent within Copilot Studio, but uh, I'd say uh, there are three different structures uh, while building an agent. So one is agent builder, whereby if you have very limited experience on building an agent, you can go ahead and use agent builder. Then we have Copilot Studio, whereby it is more suited for users who are more inclined towards low code and no code kind of an experience, or maybe some sort of a pro code experience. But if you are completely into the pro code experience, then I would say go ahead and explore um, Azure AI Foundry to build your agents. Now, lightweight intuitive agent builder embedded inside Microsoft 365. So as the name suggests, it is pretty much lightweight so that you don't get much of the uh, configuration capability while building an agent using agent builder. Agent Builder is a feature within M365 Copilot that basically allows users to create custom agents without any development experience, as I explained to you. Now, you can build agents directly within the application, and also you can use the existing agents built by Microsoft. So you have an ability to create your own custom agent, and also you can leverage the agents built by Microsoft. Here, you can collect connect your agent or co-pilot to enterprise data and consume the resources. You can view the conversation chats and then you can also create pages within the interface. So this is how it will look like. So on the left menu, you will see various components like the agents, conversation pages, uh, and then some of the M365 uh, links like the apps, admin, etc. And then you can start communicating with the agent over here and get start getting the response. Then these are a couple of agents which are built by Microsoft. So researcher, analyst, prompt coach, writing coach, idea coach, career coach, and learning coach. Couple of agents are available for you to use. Couple of agents are uh, somewhat tied to a license. So if you do not have a license, you may not be able to utilize those agents. So let's see that in action. So first, let me show you the interface Copilot Studio. So here, this is like a rich interface here. You can go ahead and create an agent. And once you create an agent, you have an ability to um, customize the agent using various uh, tools uh, within various topic sections. So you can create multiple topics. You can change the trigger. You can configure knowledge source. You can publish into multiple channels. So those kind of capabilities are there in Copilot Studio. But if you are a user who don't want to get into all this detailing of building an agent, so then uh, you, you can just type in m365.copilot, m365.cloud.microsoft. So this will take you to the Microsoft 365 landing page. And if you are authenticated then you will see this first screen now here there's a lot of things happening within the screen so let me explain you what all things we have over here so we have a left panel then we have this main area and then there are some settings over here in the top so first let's look into the setting over here in the top you can navigate to the recent page you can see the about information about the application so this is about Microsoft 3, Microsoft Copilot. So it will give you some information about Microsoft Copilot. Then you can send a feedback to Microsoft uh, with regards to the application. So you can give a compliment, report a problem, or make a suggestion. And also there are a couple of settings. So if you click on settings, you have an option to uh, configure the Copilot personalization with regards to custom instructions and Copilot memory. So if we go to custom instruction, it says provide Copilot with specific details and guidance to improve the quality of its response. So here you can 
specify the details about your interest, the goals, the preferences, and give some specific context to the agent. Then we have Copilot memory. Copilot will use the details recalled from your previous conversations and information from your work profile. So Copilot memory. So currently it hasn't captured any memory, but it is turned on. You have an ability to turn it off as well. So that's about personalization. Go to agents here. You can manage Copilot agent with external data access. So if you have connected an agent with an external uh, data source or data service, then you will be able to configure those information over here. Now, if you see this shield, it says uh, enterprise data protection applies to this chat. So that means this entire conversation is protected. And uh, GPT-5 will be available soon. So you will have an ability to leverage the GPT-5 models. So that's about the setting part. On the left-hand side, you can search for various component. If you click over here, you have an ability to expand and collapse the left menu. Then in the agent section, conversation and pages section. So in agents, you will see all the agents. Now, these are some of the agents. So if you see the first agent, this is the agent which I have published from Copilot Studio. So I've created an agent in Copilot Studio and I've published over here and it is available over here. Then there are a couple of agents which are uh, available out of the box. So idea coach, prompt coach. But if you want to see the list of complete agent, let's go into all agents. And here you will see all the agents. Now, this is the agent which I published from Copilot Studio. So if you see the about information, I can configure all this component, even the icon, the name, the developer name and whole bunch of things, because this is in my control. This one, Idea Coach, this is purely from Microsoft. I cannot, uh, I cannot edit it. I don't have any control over here. I can just view and play around with this particular agent. So idea coach. So if I go into one of this agent idea coach, it will help me brainstorm a topic, plan brainstorming session and brainstorming exercise. So I can go ahead and uh, just click on this and I'll say, hey, idea coach, help me brainstorming uh, about uh, say, say physics. And then it will go ahead and execute this prompt and then it will start giving you that response. So as you see, uh, it has given me uh, a generic response. And then if I want to go into specific topics, like let's dive into quantum mechanics or energy systems, I can go ahead and select it or I can type in my own prompt and I can provide a content and the context. So I can provide a content or attach a file or chat with an agent. So that's about idea coach. Now, if I go into all agents again, there are other uh, coaches which are available. So like we have a prompt coach. So I it will help me generate a prompt to be used in Copilot. I can analyze the prompt. Uh, I can provide a prompt check prompt compliance. And then there are other things which I can have a look into it. Uh, there is something called as a prompt gallery. So it will take you to the prompt gallery. And then here you can view various prompts which are available for you to work on your prompt so it will say help me generate a prompt to be used in copilot help me generate a prompt to be used in copilot studio while building agent and then it will start explaining me like when you start building an agent you need to provide a goal context source expectations so it will give you all those information and then you can copy the response you can give a thumbs up or thumbs down you can read aloud and you can edit in pages now this is an important part like we do a lot of conversation with the agent now we sometimes we would like to store this information somewhere right so what you can do if i click on edit in pages you can add it to a recent page or you can just say edit in pages so i'll click on edit in pages it will copy this response over here and here you can say uh, I want to make some correction over here. So I just put some correction and I'll say, hey, this was created by me. So Girish created it on uh, 14th August 2025. And I'll put some notes uh, around it. I can go ahead and add various items. Like it's, it's like a, a loop page. So I can create a table, I can create a checklist, I can create a bulleted list, I can put a date around it. So if I put a date around, let me say, say this is tomorrow. And then if I just type in new, and then I can just type in some checklist, say item one, item two. 
so i can put various content over here and then once i'm happy with it i can either open this in word share it with my colleague or i can add it to a notebook so i can click on add to a notebook and then it is it will say no notebook created create a notebook and then add it so i can even do that as well so that's how you can uh, save your responses from copilot in the pages so i'll close this interface now any conversation you make with an agent now if you see over here on the left side any conversation you did with an agent you will see in the conversation section as you have currently logged in so if i go to conversation it can it will show me oh i have uh, asked a uh, prompt coach to help me generate a prompt i have uh, used idea coach to generate an idea and then this was previously i worked on my custom agent and then i just typed in sports and it has given me some sort of a response and you can also view the list of all the conversation which we have done today or the previous seven days and you can click on see more to see all the conversation you did with the all sort of agents so that's about agents that's about conversation and if you go into pages here we have created uh, some sort of pages right like so we have created this Kirish teams agent and then uh, i have created this page over here and it has saved this page now i can go into my previous conversation so if i go into previous conversation idea coach and idea coach has given me something I can go ahead and edit in pages and i'll just click on edit in pages i'll call it as uh, i'll update with my information so girish and and you need not even save this is all saved right so i'll just click on close over here and now as you see in all the pages uh, you should see all the pages listed over here so you can go ahead and open the existing page now, if I click on open existing page, I can go ahead and see all this different information. So I can see the page uh, which I just closed, right? And I can create multiple pages. Now here in create, you have an option to create a document, create a presentation, create a workbook, create a form. You can browse the template. So you can do a whole bunch of things in the create section over here. Uh, now, these are all things are part of Microsoft 365 Copilot, but my focus was just to show you that you can go over here and you can see agents, you can see conversation pages. But the main purpose of this entire uh, discussion is how you can create an agent. Now, here you can go ahead and create an agent from this section or from here. Now you have multiple options, recent pages about send feedback and settings, which we have already seen. Let's go ahead and create an agent. So let me create an agent. And here, this will be opening in Copilot Studio authoring interface. But then this is completely, basically light. Now, if I go to Copilot Studio agents and then create an agent, it will ask me so many information, right? So it will first give me a prompt similar to this, like as you see, describe, configure, test your agent. Now here it's kind of a similar interface but if you see i have an option to update the language update advanced settings now i can select the solution i can select the schema name but here those things doesn't matter and that's why you just want someone to quickly create an agent so i'll say create an agent named as cricket agent which answers questions about cricketers who play one day internationals internationals only so this is one specific format of the game so i'm just restricting my agent and i'm telling that oh this is an agent name and you just only answer about that so it will start and start creating that agent and once the agent is created you will see the preview over here and then you can see that oh cricket agent and it has automatically given me some sort of prompt as well so i can directly start with a prompt so i can go ahead and either click on new chat or i can pick up say um, one of the odi cricketer stats so let me pick over it will say tell me the career status of virat kohli in odis and then it will start going ahead and fetching those information so as you see it is fetching information and then it will give you uh, all the latest information uh, based on the model which it is configured with 
now we have created one agent now if you go here and click on configure you have an ability to change the icon you can change the name description and the instructions over here you can configure the knowledge source you can uh, have a selection of the capability of code interpreter image generator and then you get suggested prompt but if you go ahead and uh, do the same thing in copilot studio so let me show you the uh, agent which i have created so let me cancel the agent creation in copilot studio and go into one of the agent now here you get a lot of other things so you see name description and then you get an option to see the orchestration and the response model instruction yes we saw over here so if you compare it side by side let me go ahead and compare side by side in a split screen overview and the chat yep so see the difference so yes in the left you have copilot studio which is for the uh, more advanced user compared to the uh, agent builder which is being used which will be used by uh, like kind of a power user uh, and as you see knowledge yes you can add a knowledge here you can specify the url but here you can do whole bunch of things it is not just only knowledge for one drive sharepoint of file but you can connect to multitude of sources then we have capability and suggested prompt here we can configure tools triggers add sub agents external agents uh, i can configure topics to a great extent so so as you see overall we get an option but it is quite minimal in agent builder because the whole purpose is to not confuse user uh, who are just creating an agent they just need to get a simple prompt uh, to create an agent configure a very high level thing and then if you want to tweak in something you can go ahead and tweak that so as you see now we have already created this agent cricket agent if i go to view all agent i should be able to see the agent which i have created like two minutes ago i have an option to delete the agent from here i can go ahead and edit the agent and on the list all agents here we have seen the out of the box agent which has been listed over here plus we can see other community agent now i have an option to create an agent from here also so if i click on create agent again it will take me to that same page i have an option to create an agent with a prompt or i can go ahead and click on configure and then pre-populate those information of name description and instruction so that's it folks like if i just refresh the screen i'll show you again the interface on the left hand side you will see all the list of agents which you have either created or the agent which is available out of the box that includes custom agent and the agent which you have created using copilot studio and published in m365 copilot you can track the conversation and also you can organize the conversation in different set of pages so that's it folks this is all about agent builder within microsoft 365 copilot thanks for watching